This is Twit. Let's talk more about uh, about Science Hack Day. So the first Hack Day you said was in 2010. 2010, and this was something that was organized in London. You heard about it just by chance? Is something that you read about online? Um, well, the actual way it started was uh, I had organized a. Um, a panel at South by Southwest about open science and uh, it was this awesome panel of friends and we were all talking about how frustrated we were that actually there was a lot of open science stuff already out there but no one was really doing anything interesting with it or playing with it or, or creating interfaces for it um, and so we were talking about this frustration and my friend Jeremy Keith uh, was in the audience and saw this and he was like we should do a science hack day so he created that's when he created the first one in London and I was like that's actually a pretty awesome idea <laughs> so uh, I organized the one in San Francisco then so what you say all right I love the idea of getting a bunch of people who have these great project ideas or just, you know, they should meet, the meeting of the minds type of a thing. How does one go from, that would be a fun 48 hours, to actual, I'm going to spread the word. How, how do you get going from scratch? Uh, well, I mean, you know, with, with Hack Days, there was already a format, you know, there was Yahoo Hack Days, and so it... It, it felt not too difficult to, to Is Yahoo do. The, the pioneer of the hack day? As far as I know, like, they, I think they created the first hack day, open hack day in 2005. Wow. Around there. Because that's um, a lot, I mean, the, the big internet companies all seem to have them now. Yeah. I, I think they should probably uh, promote that more. Maybe they'd get more <laughs> brand traction or something. Yeah, but, really. Um, but yeah, is, I mean, you know, hackathons and hack days had been around already, so it, it was really a matter of figuring out how to take that model and adapt it to what I really wanted to do. And, and so it's, it was sort of twofold uh, in that not only is Science Hack Day about sort of breaking down the barrier for people to play around with science and equally to get scientists to realize that there's a bunch of different tools and types of people that they can use um, to create cool things. Um, but for me, uh, since I'm not a developer, I wanted to make Hack Days actually more accessible to people who weren't um, programmers. Um, mm -hmm. And so with Science Hack Day, we have about a third or so are developers, but the rest are kind of a mixed bag of designers and scientists and um, writers, lawyers, all different types of people. Um, and that's sort of by design um, because I would often get frustrated because I really like the idea of creating things, but my skill set is probably fairly low and I'm not a programmer. And I still got really excited about the idea of hacking and hack days. So with Science Hack Day, I wanted to create an environment where it was also more accessible for people who have no idea how they could contribute, but get really excited about the idea. And those are exactly the types of people I want to come to it.